All right, before I begin, I have a DP armory lower, and uh, some of you will probably get upset by what's on the lower. And just before any comments, I don't, I love everybody. I don't, by what some people think that that mean is not what I think it means. And uh, I mean, no disrespect towards anybody. I love everybody, but uh, that's not what this video was about. This video was about this. This is a boat catch from uh, Palmetto State Armory. This is a PMAG Gen 2. And for some reason, I've tried four magazines. All of them are PMAGs. It's not wanting to catch on the back of the follower right here. It's slipping back behind it and it's catching on that piece of plastic. You can see the mark there. You see where it's catching? Right in the middle of the magazine. It's catching right there. It's not actually catching on there because that tangs uh, on this boat catch it isn't long enough. A little piece right there. So uh, there's a little fix that I've found uh, and it actually works. I've got an AR9. This is actually a Colt. Uh, nine millimeter boat catch and I'm gonna get it out of the pack I'm gonna pause this real quick Let's see. now we'll do a side by side comparison and if you can't tell this one is a little bit longer all right so what you want to do is you want to take this first you're going to go to your uh, your lower. Okay? you got the problem with the PMAG Gen 2. I don't know if it's a magazine problem because I've never tried any other magazines in, the, in this setup. I've tried it with different uppers and it does the same thing, which that wouldn't really change anything. I've even tried a different lower and I, that somebody else uh, I know, and it does the same thing. All right, first thing we're going to want to do, this is what we're changing out. See, this is an old one right there. We're going to want to take our takedown pins out. We're going to pop those bad boys out real quick. Hang on. All right, now that we have our lower receiver separated from the, uh, the upper receiver, there's a roll pin inside of here. And we're going to take that out. I have a roll pin wizard. And what you're supposed to do is pop that yellow piece inside of the takedown pin hole. You're supposed to take that in there and then there's a hole in there. See, and it's perfectly shaped like, like that. Just like that hole and you're supposed to slide it in there. And then you're supposed to beat it out. Well... I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to use the punch. It's got a little tiny end on the end of it. I don't know if you can see it. I think I gave about $10 for this. Well, probably won't let me show it. But either way, we're going to punch it out. And we want to go back towards our... Uh, uh, our stock it goes out that way but we're not going to punch that pin all the way through and there's a spring under here see it's under spring tension see that all right we're going to punch that out but not all the way i'm going to uh, show you how i use this i got this at harbor freight for around five dollars and i'm just going to hold that and i'm going to tap it out all right I'll be right back. 